tell you guys some new brands because there are a couple of brands here that I have not sold in a long time. So hopefully if you're new to reselling, these are new brands to you. That's what I'm hoping. What's up, Arizona? So what's up, everybody, on the TikTok, on the Facebook, and on YouTube? Let me hit the chat up. Just got a new message about these pants. I, I've had these for so long, and I just listed them because I'm a seasonal seller. I just listed these. Someone just sent me a message about them. I'll read it in a little bit. So what's up, everybody? What's up, Flippin' Nurse? Roger. What's up, Rogers? All right. Let's go ahead. Let's start off with a joke real quick because you know me. I like my jokes. And there was a good one I just read. I read. All right. You ready? What language does a billboard speak? What language does a billboard speak? Those of you that know. Happy Friday Eve, everyone. Happy Friday Eve. What's up, Jen? What, what language does a billboard speak? What language does a billboard speak? Tell me. A billboard. What does it speak? Sign language. Dang it, Kate. Dang it. You guys are all too smart. You guys are totally smarter than a kid. My gosh. Sign language. Logan, you got it too. Everyone everywhere got it. I'm going to have to get some hard ones. Those are too easy. They, they always worked with the kids. Yep. Susan got it too. Dang it. All right. Well, congratulations, everyone. All right. So we're going to pack up 23 orders tonight. Again, there are some... Everything, I think, is a different brand. So lots of different brands. First one to begin with, Under Armour. Nothing special other than the size. 42 by 34. That's a really good size. Big waist, long. These are great. I always say the longer, the better. But the longer, the better for real in pants because you can hem them as short as you like. So these are going out. Flat rate envelope. So how was everyone's day? How was how was the selling out there? Today was actually probably my best day selling in a lot, I don't know, a week or so. I sold so far today maybe 12 items or 11 or 13, something like that. So it was a decent day. And I hung out all day with this weird dude with a beard. So I didn't pay attention to my sales. Did not even pay attention to my sales. Do is stalking me all day. So hit the bins today and found some good stuff. Arizona, what'd you find? I hit the bins too. I went to the bins too, not because I wanted to. All right. So I talk about this all the time. I don't talk about this all the time. It's so slow for me. That's how I felt the last few days. So I'm going to kick that juju over your way now because it just hit me. And I'm going to kick it over to you because it was slow for me the last few days too. So I like really like picking up cycling jerseys. So this right here is specialized. The only reason I know that is because I used to I, I have a specialized bike, but I used to ride bikes quite a bit. But specialized is a good brand to keep your eye out for. Cycling jerseys, I love. Be careful. There's a ton of cycling jerseys that are like local, um, like rides for profit for non for profits or whatever. So be careful what you're looking up. Always comp them out. This sold for $26.49. Thanks, Aaron G. Hashtag auto posture. Auto posture got me that. I'm trying to just list more. That's all you have control over. User, change your name. I don't know. I can't. I want to call you by name. So uh, I was talking to, um, I went to dinner last night with actually like um, someone in the finance world. He's a portfolio manager of like a big firm. And we were talking and I was telling him, like, I see all these people with monetary goals. Like, I want to make $200,000 and I want to make all this $50,000. You have no control. Like what user just said, I wish I could say your name. The user said, you don't have control. All you have control over is how much you list. So I want to make $50,000 too next month, but I don't have control over how much people buy from my store. What do I have control over? How many things I list. So the goal shouldn't be monetary it should be how many items i want to list if you want to get big on social media how many how many videos you're going to release so that's what's in your control not money so keep on listing i'm with you i'm with you so that's sold for 26.49 um what's up surfs what's up Aaron G? um the item that has been selling the most lately are um that pair of jeans really those jeans i those are women's right um, MV, are those women's jeans? I don't think I've sold those ever. Only had six sales today. That's good. 
Six sales are good. I bet. How many items do you have in your store? Um, I sold one item all week. Jen, we have control. Go list some more. List some more. Thanks, Trigger. So I have control over you. You have control over me. You have control. This dude's a joke. Picking up pea stained stuff today. He's crazy. We didn't get any South Pole, but I did sell these. I posted these the other day. I listed these and they sold in 30 minutes. I probably underpriced them. I don't care. Bought them for $7.99. I sold them for $37.99. I thought, yeah, $37.99. I thought I priced them like to market comps. I guess they were underpriced or someone was looking for a size 38 black. So either way, I don't really care. I'm happy that they're gone. They're going flat rate padded envelope. What should I do to get started? You need to open an eBay store or an eBay account, not a store, an eBay account. Start there. It's super easy. Start an eBay account, find stuff around your house, and list those things. With Start with stuff around your house. Don't go out thrifting and getting a whole bunch of stuff. Start with stuff around your house so you know how to ship. Um, do calculated shipping. Weigh your stuff. Know what you're shipping with. I have YouTube videos about it. Uh, you list on auction or buy it now. I do 99.9% .9 of my stuff buy it now. These were buy it now too. These South Pole, I almost auctioned them, but I didn't. I bought them. I did a buy it now with those. They made me do it. Yeah, I know they did. I'm telling you, you get in these lives right here and people make you do things that you don't want to do. Like, luckily, no one's asked me to take my shirt off. So, these are going, that's going out at padded flat rate. Again, I don't, I made $30 on those. Next time I get South Pole, I guess I'll have to maybe up the price a little bit. But, then again, I made $30 in 30 minutes. So, um, found packaged Mega Spock Nintendo sleeper shorts and a doozy Halloween hook. I That's a lot. Oh, Mau Maui hook. Yeah, those Maui hooks are good, especially for Halloween. That's a lot of stuff. Nice job, Roger. Um, but yeah, get started. It's easy to get started. Sell stuff around your house. Should I start reselling shoes? Start reselling whatever you have at your house. So look up comps. I have a video on eBay. I have two videos on eBay, one about or on YouTube, one video about shipping and shipping supplies, and one video about how to look up comps and how to price your item. They're both like three or four minutes each. They're both on my link tree. You can go and watch them on my YouTube channel. Um, did my comment get filtered? What did you say, Arizona? Yeah, I didn't see. Uh, oh, no, you didn't. Lulu, Marmont, Bonobos, Lauren Ralph Lauren, and Vintage all at the bins. Arizona went to the bins and got Lulu, Marmont, Bonobos. So there you go. Goodwill bah, to you. Nice pickup. All right. So we did South Pole. We did a cycling jersey. We're going to go to cool, some hiking gear. So some cool pants. These I listed, they sold within a day as well. Um, I think these were, no, $28.88 are what these sold for. A lot of times on cool pants, everybody, you guys probably know this, but on the inside pocket, they'll have a name and they're really easy then to comp out. This did not have a name. So I had to look up like um, articulated knees or whatever with the knees that have like the double so they can, so they're like better underneath. I don't know whatever. But they sold for $28.88. Real question. Are the Colts running in this week? Real, real question. Who are they playing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've i been so busy. I haven't even paid attention. I just made my picks. Who's playing tonight, by the way? Someone's playing tonight. Someone's playing tonight. Um, These are going out ground. They're just under a pound, believe it or not. So $28.88 for these. Um, have you ever sold kickwear jeans? No, I've never sold that. Nicole, are those good? It sounds like, it sounds like a skater brand, kickwear jeans. Are they men's or women's? Because I really don't like going to the women's section. It's, it's hard for me to do women's. I'm trying my best. Um, what's up, Second Chance? By the way, you're making quite appearance on tomorrow's video. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Is it my butt? Is it, if it's my butt, at least bleep it out. I got a funny story for you guys, by the way. I also sold some South Pole jeans today. Twinsies, let's go! Twinsies, Arizona. Nice. Yep. We sold those Giants and 49ers. Giants and 49ers. I think everyone picked up 49ers to win. Right? Yeah, I did. I'm in a pick them, so I picked the 49ers. It's basically just pick who you think is going to win. So, tied at three. Okay, well, 
I hope the Niners win at least. They are like Jinko. Okay, so they're skater jeans. Shelby, if you're watching, sorry I kept Brad, Brad out late today. She doesn't care. She's fine. Um, so you guys want to hear a story? I told you I'm going to bring you stuff tonight. Like everything I sold is different. So cycling jersey, cool, South Pole. This is a brand that you guys might not, thanks, Terrence, that you guys might not have seen before. Willis and Geiger. You probably have by now. But this is a really hard brand to find because they don't make it anymore, but it's got a huge following. The following on this brand, Willis and Geiger, is huge. This is just a polo shirt. It's to be honest, it's not attractive. It's it's not, it's actually got a herringbone pattern in it. It's got a herringbone pattern. It's sold for $34.36. So auto posture sale on that one. Um, how do you price Brooks Brothers bought for $4.99? Brooks Brothers, what? Uh, Tam, you'll have to look up the comps on those. Um, I can give you an idea. Sold Ralph Lauren Purple Label for 430 What? What was a Purple Label for 430 I thought I my Purple Label uh, blazer with the gold buttons was awesome. It's fine. He has a super fun day. He deserves all those. Oh, there you go, Shelves. There you go. Um, purple Label Ralph Lauren blazer. Hasn't sold yet. Awesome find. Paid, yeah. Purple Label anything sells. In fact, I think, yeah, actually guys, everyone. So, you know, I want you to right now, if you don't have whatnot, go into whatnot and go bookmark the bearded thrifter, bearded thrifter, go bookmark his show. And I don't know where he is. You guys, I think you guys know who he is. He's got a little following, but bearded thrifter, go Go follow this guy. Go bookmark his show. We're having a 69 party at a hotel October 6th, a.k.a. a whatnot show with 69 items. I'm going to be the er 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 MC for it, and it's all his clothing. We curated it. It's the best clothing he had that he has picked over the past, like, six months. So go bookmark that show. I have a bet with them on how many people are going to bookmark. He doesn't think a lot of people will be there. I said, we're going to bring the crowd. We are going to bring the crowd. So go bookmark his show. All right. So Willis and Geiger out of here. And it is not in a ground. It is in a, it is in a flat rate envelope. So blazer cream colored. I got you on that purple label. Good leather jackets found three times. Um, blue material or something. Got you. Um, it's me. You suggest starting with what I have at home. Yeah. So I suggest starting. Well, like I said, I put out a video. I actually took it off because I really wasn't happy with it because I felt like I was like, I don't like, I don't know. So I took it off. But if you like in my link, in my link tree, there's a whatnot code. If you surf up fine and buy something on whatnot, you can buy something for $15. No joke. You can go on whatnot, buy stuff, source stuff for $15. Get that stuff, literally pay nothing, and resell it on eBay and start from there. I started with five items. I have 1,300 items listed and sold over 30,000. Um, 69, that's right. That's right, Arizona. He was recognized before he even went third to take. Yeah, so that's the story. October 6th shows the one you want to bookmark. Yep, boom. Right there, guys. Go bookmark it. He thinks, he thinks no one's going to show up. I'm like, are you serious? I'm going to be giving your clothes away. People are going to be there. People will be there. They're like Patagonia. I'm not even going to tell you what the giveaway is. I'm not even going to tell you what the giveaway is. This is a padded padded envelope, or I mean a flat rate envelope, guys. So right there where it says flat rate, that's how you know it's flat rate. Flat rate envelope. Um, purple label, Ralph Lauren, top of the line, only made in Emily. Yeah, purple label, I would say, is the top of the line of Polo Ralph Lauren dress wear. Um, but then there's double RL, which is like they're they're like, I don't want to say street wear, but just really higher end, like um, I don't know. But double RL is really high end for Polo Ralph Lauren, and purple label is their high end dress wear. So they're equally high, equally high end. I've um, got some Harley women's leather chaps today. Um, not sure worth 25 or 125. They're definitely worth more than $25. If they're leather, Harley, women's chaps, they're worth more than $25. So you had me at 69 party. I knew I did, Amy. 
I knew I did. What's up, Joel? All right, next item. So that was Willis and Geiger. This isn't new to you, but the Goodwills sometimes have new with tags Levi's. I don't care as long as it's a men's Levi jeans. 505 is my least favorite. 550 is my least favorite. This is 514. They're not great, but if they're new with tags and they're 799 at Goodwill, I always pick them up. So I always pick them up. I don't find them that often, maybe like once every two weeks or something. But 2533, paid $7.99 for it. So I got it bookmarked. Sophia got it bookmarked. I knew she would. I should see how many people bookmarked that show. Beard, let's see. We have a bet going. He's going to go shirtless. Just kidding. All right, this is going padded. So is it good to be top-rated seller on eBay? Jeffrey, it is, but actually last month or a month before, I got my top-rated uh, revoked for the littlest itty-bitty thing because I had to cancel someone's um, – I some reason, I, I thought I, I sold something twice, and I didn't, so I had to cancel their uh, order, and I got dinged for it, and so I didn't get top seller. I've been selling the same stuff. So it's good to try to be a top seller, but you don't have to be. Like I always say, if you have the right item at the right price, people will find it and buy it. So today, if I'm a CC Filson button-up shirt, the right item. If I price it right, I don't care if I've listed five things or 5,000 things. Price it right, it will sell. So the right item for the right price is what you're looking to do. Top top rated seller does help. Obviously, people feel more comfortable with that. But I don't think it's a make or break. And it's not a chicken. Um, starts with a C. Oh, geez. Um, Bolo, golf shirt. What? I'm throwing that up there. I'm throwing that up there. I don't think I have that. 106 bookmarks. That's so weak. That is so weak. All right. Next one is a women's. I know this brand just because I've seen it. And I know it's a good brand. Diane Von Furstenberg, whatever her name is. I'm over it. So what's up, love? Over there. What's up? Is it cricket? Oh, cricket. Susan, what's up with cricket? What's up with cricket? Cricket's a good polo brand. Um, but yeah, this Diane Von Furstenberg, I sold for $26.59. That's an auto posture sale. $26.59 auto posture sale. I'm glad to get rid of it. How many items do I list per day? I try to list 70 to 100 a week. That's my goal. Wait, surfs is on whatnot? It's game over for the rest of us. Listen, I'm emceeing a show on whatnot. I'm emceeing a show. Do I have a whatnot? Yes. Am I an ambassador on whatnot? Yes. But have I scheduled a whatnot? No. Do I plan on? No. But I'm in seeing one. I can't wait. It's going to be really fun. I'm going to blow it up. You guys better be there too. Kit Kat. Oh, everyone's saying hi. Um, you found Filson? Nice. It's on my bucket list to find. Kit Kat. Yes, I found it today during our live. So Bearded and I went live in a thrift store. And the funny story is... We went live. I don't know if you guys were on watching me live today, if you were, thumbs up. And we're walking into this thrift store in downtown Indianapolis. Like, it's kind of rough where we were. And up pulls this truck. The dude rolls down his window. He's like, bearded thrifter, is that you? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I'm such a fan. <laughs> I got it all on video. And in Indianapolis, downtown. It was crazy. It was so funny. Um. Yeah, way to go now, everyone, unbookmark it. No, whatever. Yeah, I'm giving away everything on that show. I don't care what it goes for. It's not my stuff. So I'll show you that. You guys remember me live thrifting this the other day, this Dickies? Remember this? We found this together. Remember that? It sold. Um, That's way too inexpensive for Diane. Listen, goddess. Listen, I know you're the goddess, but I had that thing listed for a while. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me, but I sold it. I'm happy to get rid of it. $25, it's gone. I don't know what the deal is, why it took so long. Women's clothing is tough for me to sell. Hi. Hi, Mar. Uh, happy Thursday to you, love. Susan, tell me about Cricket. So anyways, the story on this Dickies. Remember we found this together? It was brand new at Ross. It was like $28, and they sell for like $80 to $100. Look what I found when I was waiting in line. One of the buttons was broke. So I was like, I'm not going to get it. And the lady's like, 
I'll, I'll give it to you for $20. I can market an extra 20% off or whatever. And I'm like, 20 bucks? I could probably sell it for 50. It sold for 50 in a week. In a week. Actually, it sold for 42.74. So I paid $20 for it. Uh, the way you just said that, I laughed so hard. What did I say, Kit Kat? What did I say? So, all right. Oh, thumbs up. You saw it today. It was so funny. I mean, I mean, I have you guys. I have you guys. He has people in trucks that follow him. The bearded machine. But we did go to the bins. It was fun. Kind of. I mean, I found stuff. That's why it was fun. All right. So anyways, the person actually paid $22 to have this shipped. So they paid $20 or I paid 20. They paid 42 plus $20 to have this shipped. It's going out in the good old eBay box that I get from my store. If you have a store on eBay, you get a little credit. Um, uh, when you doing the show, we're doing the show October 6th. It's, you can follow me and whatnot, but it's on Bearded Thrifters whatnot. He is in this chat right now. October 6th. You can go bookmark the show. It's going to be good clothing. It's got Patagonia, all sorts of stuff. Dude's like, I don't want to put this on eBay. I just want to get rid of it. Okay, I'll help you. Let's do it. So that's what we're doing. And it's at a hotel party. Hotel 69 party. Um, You have us. We have each other. Yeah. We do. So this is going out priority. So going out priority because it's a little bit too big to put in a envelope. Um, let's see. Did you go to the did you do a Ben's haul? I have tons of video from today. I know that much. So I do have things I got from the bins. Yes, I did buy things at the bins. Yes, I was surprised to find some of the things I found at the bins. I 100 percent admit that. I'm gonna make good money at the bins. If I did a bins versus thrift store today. I don't know how they would have gone, but the bins for an hour and a half that we were there, I found good stuff. So I'm back up here again. He better give us uh better give you a commission. What for his show? Oh, he he's gonna give me commission. Remember, we're in a hotel. Um, I love selling selling women's goddess. I love selling women's clothing. However, men is much easier and less returns. Yes, I mean, if it's worth money, of course I love selling women's. It's just tough for me. Um, I was, I think I saw bearded today, like the women's clothing, unless it's something very simple, like a Patagonia quarter zip or something like that, Diane von, von Furstenberg, it takes me seven, eight, 10 minutes to list that because I have to find one very similar. I have to figure out what it's called a tie blouse, whatever. I don't like spending all that time with men's clothing. I know exactly what to look for. I can list it in like two or three minutes. I don't want to spend 10 minutes listing it. That's why I don't really like listing that stuff. By the way, this is a herringbone. No, it's not. It's a houndstooth, houndstooth with some leather buttons that are kind of tattered. But it is a Pendleton. So Pendleton blazer. It sold for forty-one seventy-nine. Forty-one seventy-nine. Um, I want to see what you got. You want to see what I got? The it's all in the back of my car. I might put a video together then. I'll put a video together. Oh, look. A lot of people are following me on whatnot now. Um, wait, what? Wait, what? Did you wear gloves and a mask? I should have. I didn't. The good thing is I had a bodyguard. Oh, my bad, Terrence. I had a bodyguard there. Bearded was there. And if you guys have seen him, usually don't see him, but he was like my bodyguard because he looks super mean and I look like a boy. And people are, would totally beat me up. But luckily I didn't get beat up. Uh, I have a lot of new and pretty good used shoes. Uh, I'm having a hard time selling. I don't have the boxes. Is that a reason? I just started. Terrence, so all the shoes I sell don't have boxes either. Um, you just have to price them right. Shoes and blazers like this are a long tail item for me at least because you have to find that person with the right size and they want that style. So blazers only, you know, they come in 38 all the way through like 56. Same with shoes. You have all those different sizes. Um, shirts are a little bit different. You know, a lot of people wear size large. A lot of people wear size medium, all that sort of stuff. So I never sell shoes with boxes because I never get them with boxes. Um, I would just look at your comps. If you want to get a sale, price it cheaper than everyone else. Price it 5 or $10 cheaper than everyone else. So this is going out priority. Um, size of blazer. What size is this blazer? 44. This blazer was size 44. 
Um, if it doesn't have a size, you can do a pit to do a pit to pit and times it by two. So 22, 44 was the size of the blazer. 20 or 44. And it sold for 41.79. Another auto posture sale. So tons of them. Meet you at the hotel party. Let's bring the liquor. It's already eight shorty. Ah, anybody remember? What movie is it from, Kit Kat? Look, I will flip out too. Listen, um, look, they all love your name too. My favorite men's blazer. Um, I make most money on them by far. On Pendleton, they do really well. Honestly, anything with that's a Pendleton feel that says Harris Tweed, which I'm going to be listing a ton of those here soon because they're all in my winter fall. Those I list first thing in the fall sell like that. Once fall hits, like flannels and those um harris tweed blazers sell so quickly peter millar 21 22 i passed on a peter millar polo today and a foot joy polo today i don't care at me at me sold for 21 22 um some bin stores are so dirty user there i felt nasty like i literally was like like in between the bins like itching myself so um stranger everyone else Am I freezing? Am I freezing on people? TikTok was freezing for people uh, last night, I noticed. So if you don't, I'm out, I'm live right here on um, Facebook and YouTube. I don't think there's any lag over there. Plus, you can see my whole room. You can see my, my whole setup. Um, how the bins go? Tammy, they went well. Unfortunately, they went well. So I'll probably eat crow if cat ever gets on here. So Bearded wanted to go for sure, and we did it. I passed on Peter Millar. The polos, it has to be the right polo for me to pick it up now. I'm I'm over it. I have too many. I've been running sales on them. They just don't sell unless they are. I sold one the other day for like 50 something, 60 something dollars. It was all over print, crazy print. That's what people want right now. Not stripes, not regular. Untuck it. This is a 2XLT, so double XL tall. This sold within like a day for. $18.99, $18.99, not here, Casey, not here, um, you're welcome, Terrence, ask me anything, anytime, you can uh, message me on IG, I'm always, I always answer back, so, boil me, boil me, Reisner after Benz, yeah, Reisner, I'm telling you, it wasn't bad today, we, we had fun, people weren't crazy, we ran into a girl that I've run into before. We talked for a little while. It was fun. We had a good time. The bins were fine. It helps that I found good brands. Okay, I'll tell you. I found American Giant. I found Patagonia. I found Boy Scout brand of America that were unhemmed, so they were pretty much new. Um, I found a whole bunch of stuff. So pretty. It was it was good. It was good. Oh, and I bought a parachute. All right, that's going. Let's get to the next item. Um, Lululemon pants. I got these for free from the guy I trade with, trade vintage stuff with. So these are Lululemon pants. These are actually the first gen tag. So these are the first generation logo for men. It's just like nickel sized hexagon or whatever it is. That's the first generation for men. So if you see that, that's the first gen for men on that. I heard, uh, not lagging over here. Oh, I got you. Yeah. It's not lagging on, on YouTube. Um, I clear out estate sales after they've over. I have all kind of stuff new again. Those are the best people. Uh, my dad used to run estate sales. We love people like you. I remember when uh, we had those, uh, Fort Loud is one step three floors. Any surfs is Chiggy and Snoop collab song is back in the day. Oh, I got you. Uh, you back to the bins? No, but I think I will. I talked to my wife tonight. And I think it's fun to do those bins versus, versus stores videos because I have fun doing that. So I think I'm, I might do some more of those. Those are fun to me, especially when I'm by myself. Today, I wasn't by myself, so I had a lot of fun. But when I'm by myself, those aren't fun. These sold for $25.99. That's the first gen Lululemon. They went from that to the circle to the square and then back to the circle to be unisex. So the hexagon thing, the circle, the square back to the little circle dot for men's clothing at lululemon and these are going out padded flat rate uh let's see 
What about sizes? Which size sells best? The bigger, the better. New again. The bigger, the better sells best. And a good brand. It has to be a good brand. The bigger, the better. So, um, like that Untuck It, it was a 2XL tall. That sold much quicker than a medium would have. Um, geez, that's super good. Yeah, it was super good. Not freezing for Casey. Casey, why are you being so quiet? Why are you being so quiet? Who che who cheated? Thumbs up if you cheated on me during the uh, my live today and went into someone else's live while I was live. That's not nice. Peter Millar, new with tags. No, these are not retail arbitrage. I found these at the Goodwill for four ninety nine. They sold for fifty nine ninety nine. So, Peter Millar, I love finding these chinos. They always sell this time of year. So I got lucky with these. I did buy a pair of Peter Millar pants retail arbitrage uh, recently, though. Um, you make some pants out of it. Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, and I bought a parachute. Tell them what kind. No, I'm not. I, I'm going to have to put a video together, I guess. I'm going to have to put a video together. These, I've, I'm shipping these in a padded flat rate because these are new with tags just to keep, keep them nice and neat. You guys saw my video. You guys know how I pack stuff. I don't put it in another bag. And people actually commented on that video and were like, I appreciate that because you're not wasteful and don't use extra bags. I'm like, that makes me feel good. I'm not wasteful. That's less plastic in the ocean. So there you go. So putting that right in here like this and it will be fine. I never had a complaint. You cheated on me? Bearded, you cheated on me? Pretty good. You guys all cheated on me? Yes. Get you guys. 499 for those. Holy crap. That's awesome. I know. Casey, it is awesome. It doesn't happen very often. You can imagine it doesn't happen. That's like one of those things like, uh, heck yeah, I'll buy that. And then they want to mark up their Under Armour pants to 10 bucks. Okay. Go for it. Um, it was a great find. Fix. Uh, what brands are best for men's jeans? Well, nurse, right now, South Pole brands are selling. Um, do you have a specific amount you want to make for each item? Double or triple? Good question. So, for example, I sold, uh, I sell these a lot. These Polo Ralph Lauren's I sold, this is one I sold and I can take pictures of these and list them. I know you guys hear this a lot. Casey, we're doing 22, 23, 22 orders tonight. Um, I list these for 16 or 17 99. And after it's all said and done, I make 10 to $11 profit on these, but this literally takes me a minute to list. I can take pictures and list it in one minute. And so for 10 bucks in a minute, that's my minimum. If it's something that's going to take me five minutes or so, it's got to be like $20 because I could list two or three of those in that amount of time. Um, headed home from B-Day dinner. Tired boss. I know I'm to be honest. I'm tired too. This dude wore me out today. All right, Miz in the Main. Told you I'm bringing you tons of different brands tonight. You guys know this one, though. I know you do. So, but Miz in the Main, it sells 24 44 I can, I can remember back in the day when these things sold for 40 bucks overnight. Not anymore. I'm loyal. Thank you, Arizona. I know you're loyal. I appreciate you. When you go to your when you go to your swap meets, I'm loyal to you too. I like going to those. How many items do you have listed at one time? Um, 1300 is about where I'm at. Like 1300, 1310 is about where I'm at, but I don't think it does matter because you have a lot of inventory out there, but I feel like if you have the right items out there, if you have 500 items and sell 10 a day for $20 plus profit, I mean, you could live, unless you live in like California, New York, you could live a nice life doing that. Now I got to put that to the side and get back to what, yeah. Casey's birthday. Casey's birthday? Casey, happy birthday. I forgot you said it this morning. That's right, because I did the happy birthday dance. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Everyone say happy birthday to Casey in the chat. She's 37. She turned my age today. I remember. I remember. How many pictures do you normally take out of all your items? Do you just have a routine that you go through? Yeah, super easy routine, Casey. I literally take them on the floor of my kitchen. I actually did a video recently of it. Uh, everyone, happy birthday, Casey. Casey's in everyone's whatnots everyone's lives she is in everyone's everything so she is part of the community she's like the fabric um i found a christian dior today women's jacket there you go blessed is that 
if it doesn't scream Christian Dior, I don't know. I picked those up. I just am not good with those. How many crazy Greedwell Carhartts found today? I sent your Facebook messages. Yes, thanks for sending me that. How much was it? $70 for a Carhartt, like overall? You sent me a picture of someone or Goodwill asking $70 for a Carhartt overall. They're crazy. Uh, did Tekken Sports retire? I think so, Anna or Anna. I think he did retire. I think that's why he's coming out with these YouTube videos. And that's the reason why I came out with the video the other day. He does, he does a completely different system than everyone. He does a lot like me. Quick pictures, like five quick pictures, does all of his measurements in his pictures. He doesn't put them in his listings. He puts all of his items in light categories. He doesn't double bag anything. And like I'm like, man, the guy who sells the most items on eBay that are men's clothing in every single category does that. I think I'm doing something okay. So maybe that's why I feel like I'm efficient. So here's a Rock Revival shirt. It's got some bling for Casey for her birthday. Some bling for Casey for her birthday. And it's a 3XL. So that's the only reason I picked it up is a 3XL. Rock Revival does okay. But $21.88 is what I sold it for. It's going out in a padded envelope or padded flat rate. So everyone's saying thanks. Yeah. $64.99. That's nuts. But Casey, if you're anything like me. Oh, Dorothy says happy birthday too. Dorothy says happy birthday. Um, but if you're anything like me, I don't like celebrating my birthday anymore, to be honest, because I don't want to get older. I want to be like Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. I know that kind of sounds weird, but it's true. So this is going out in a flat rate envelope, flat rate. So these things are kind of rigid, but you can get these at the, they always have these at the post office. Sometimes I'll put a piece of tape over them, but I'm not going to, it doesn't need it. They'll strip it open. And there it is. I need to put a label on it. No, I make sure it's going to the right person. Devin. Oh, and by the way, if you guys feel like I teach you stuff and you're not and you're new here, you can hit the follow button. And if you want to make extra money doing this part time, like I did for so long, you can hit the follow button. Um, use sixty four nine nine. It's crazy. So good. Average is one sale per day uh, for every one hundred light. Uh, Brandon, so for me, I yes, there's different ways to look at it. I like looking at daily. I also like looking at three months. Those are the two metrics I look at. So I like to sell 1% of my store a day. I talk to, talk to people about this all the time. I know some other people out there don't like to think about it, but I do. Um, so I like to sell 13 items a day or more. I want to sell at least 1% of my store a day. So if you have 100 items listed, one item a day. That's what I'd want. That would be good to me. Um, or you can look at a 90-day scale. Right now on my 90-day scale, I'm selling like 11 and a half items. So I'm not at that 1%. So I need to step it up a little bit. But that's kind of like my goal, that 1% a day. Here's some long... You guys were probably in here not too long ago. Longboard shorts. I had found two pair of these at a Goodwill. $3.99. Sold them for $23.99. 20 bucks. Um, same, honestly. I know, Casey. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's how I feel. So these are going out ground. Uh, uh oh. Comments filtered. Uh oh. Some comments were filtered. Why are comments filtered in my, like, I care about, like, I'm the most, I'm not the most inappropriate, but nothing offends me. I can say that. Uh, it's hard. Yep. Hello. What's up, Bobby? What's up, Southern? What's up, Southern? Southern, I've seen you advertising for, for whatnot stuff. I don't know. Uh, is there a show or something coming up? Just saying. So those board shorts, the only reason I got these because they were new with tags. I don't pick up American Eagle shorts at all that are used. Maybe if they were a dollar a piece for cargo, like camo shorts, I'd pick them up. I just don't pick up American Eagle shorts. Maybe you guys do. That's totally fine. Um, what's up, Jaylicious? So everyone's saying hi. Everyone's saying hi to each other. It's the welcome. Everyone says hi. Um, good day today. Nine items. That is good. Nine items sold. Today was a good day for me too. Maybe Peter Pan comment. Really? Oh, someone said Peter Pan comment. I love being welcome to the chat. Yep, you're welcome. Um, the original main jeans are Jocko William Wilkins brands. Reisner, you're going to have to message me that. So today I found this brand of jeans on live. 
where I beat Bearded, I got more stuff than him and stuff that's better quality and more expensive than him today when we were live thrifting both of us. He got a blanket that had pee on it, and I got this brand of jeans that are really rare and a Filson shirt. Just saying. Next item. Here we go. Um, this is that Polar Ralph Lauren that we just talked about. Gingham check always sells. So what I've noticed um, with these Polar Ralph Laurens, the, the checks and the stripes, these all sell better for me. And so, like, here's my thumbnail. When I sell these, this is my thumbnail right here. That's what it looks like. Someone messaged me earlier and was saying, mine aren't selling. So I make my thumbnail like that on a, on a shirt like this. Sometimes I make them a little bit different, but that's my thumbnail. I know on Facebook, on uh, YouTube and Facebook, it's a little bit blurry, but thank you, Reisner. Um, what is your best brand of jeans to sell? I can tell you my favorite brand. The one that I just posted is a good brand that I found today. I've never found it before. Um, been doing this for eight years. And I'm finding new brands every day. I feel like I won a hundred percent, thousand percent. I didn't. Um, my favorite brand of jeans to sell is BKE. I think that was during the same live today because I picked up a pair on top of all that other stuff I picked up. So I got even more good stuff when I was going against Spirited. But um, BKE is my favorite brand to sell because I can find it often. It sells quick and I make a good profit. I make $20 profit off of those after everything, like usually maybe a little more. Um, and I can find them often and they sell quick. So those are all things I'm looking for. If I could just find BKGE jeans all the time, I do. Top three goals for Q4. Um, top three goals for Q4. Um, what I can control, Southern, I talked about this earlier. You weren't in here. My goals are put out more content and list more and be more efficient with my time. Those are my three goals. I can't do a monetary goal because I have no control over that. I can't do a, how many people watch my stuff or come in here and learn things because I have no control over that. So, but those are my goals. Um, list more, put up more content, become more efficient in my whole life, family, everything. So $16.99 for this shirt. You guys know I buy them for $4.99 and I listen quick. So uh, it, that is your main pick. Yeah, that is my main pick. That is my main picture on those, my main pictures. So that is my main picture. So you're the man. No, I'm not. I am not. I am not the man. Uh, what's up, Brant? All right. So it was a tablecloth you with P. Exactly, Dorothy. A tablecloth with P. I forgot. It was a tablecloth with P. That cat. Got, everyone's like, you can't pee on a tablecloth. Have you ever seen a cat on a table? I have. Cats get on tables and so do dogs. Two LL Bean, new with tags. The guy said, can I buy, or the gal, guy, whoever it was, said, can I buy both of them and you combine the shipping? I said, of course. So um, the shipping was nine whatever because they're going in a flat rate envelope. And I refunded him one of the shipping. So I always do that. I put it in my description. But for the record, most people don't read descriptions. That's why my description is only copy and paste in my policies. That's all I put in the description. Um, my pictures have the measurements. People get on their phone and shop. They look at the pictures. They scroll, scroll through. Is it the size? All that sort of stuff. Um, let's see. In a world with no clothing, what would be your main category? Oh, man. If I could do anything, you guys know it would be antiques. You guys know it would be antiques. I love history. Like, I love attaching something to, like, history like a historic artifact like it's like that Oregon Tra Trail diary like that is so unique and so cool th that someone took that all the way to Oregon and wrote every day in the weather and everything and it made it back and it's still here all these years later almost 200 years later and I have it in my hands like that gives me goosebumps just thinking about it so by the way what did I just pack oh yeah those are LL beans those are going to Robert. Um, you're in Indiana, right? Yep. Which Goodwill locations do I go to? Today we went to Bearded. How many did we go to today? We went to, we went to, and we could have gone to more. I think we went to like probably 10 and the bins. 
you probably went to 10 Goodwills in the bins, all in like the north, the west, and the central part of Indianapolis. Um, that's where we went today. So these are going out actually in a pirate, uh, Tyvex, Tyvex. So um, US, uh, us vintage sellers work overtime in the uh, stain removal. Are you talking about vintage clothing? Yeah, I know, I'm sure. I like vintage clothing. It's tough to find for me. A lot of people do the vintage clothing. That's what you're talking about. A lot of people do vintage clothing, so it's really hard for me. These, I'm pretty sure I found these at the bins like a while ago, if you guys remember. This is a brand you have to keep your eye out. Like, this brand sells so well. Do you have an antique booth? No, they closed up all the antique shops around here. It's just, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's a dying, but like, it's not super profitable to have a booth with like online selling now. But this brand right here, Gramachi, Gramachi, whatever it's called. And for you guys up top, you guys up top, it's going to be really hard for you to see. Oh, you got a good view. You got a good view. Gramachi, that's a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Just look for that running guy. Look for that little running guy. He's awesome. He's he's the reason why these sell. So these sold for $29.99. And they're so like under the radar. No one ever... Like you could put resellers in a store and they'd pass these up all the time. Most resellers, not you guys though. You guys are really good. Uh, true on description. I also do ruler learn from the best. Who was that text the best? Cause it's not me, but yeah, the ruler method works. And then um, the description, I just literally, you have to do the item specifics, but my description, I just copy and paste from my phone, my policies basically like, like my shipping policies, thank you. first thing is like, thank you. If you have any issues, please let me know. I'll take care of it. I'll make it right. Da, 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 da. Then like shipping stuff. And then like my stuff doesn't smell like smoke, all that sort of stuff. Um, I sell a ton of vintage tablecloths. I do antiques and linens, not vintage clothing. Got you. Uh, we would find, when my dad did estate sales, so many, um, so many tablecloths and vintage linens and uh, quilts and all that stuff. There you go. Riser right there. It's an Italian climbing brand. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's written up there. Uh, the TikTok is lag tonight is awful. Sorry, guys. You can hop on to YouTube. We have we have a crew hanging out over there on Facebook. Um, let's see. Cut X. X Cuts. This brand right here, we found it a couple times together. Uh, X Cuts. When we were live thrifting, uh, this sold. I got this. I uh, got this one and one just like it in a long sleeve. The bottom is curved. It's kind of like the built shirts and some of the Lululemon shirts. It kind of has that like cut on the bottom, which I like. I, I like that type of cut. So 1888s with that sold for. They're not crazy expensive, but they're good. So uh, broaden my horizons by traveling. Yes, Southern traveling is my favorite. Actually, like. Honestly, like, yeah, my goal is to, to make enough money to, like, not worry about anything financially and be able to take my family on vacation. Like, that's pretty much what I want to do. I don't care about being, like, super duper rich or anything like that. Um, I, look, Reiser, you had me on that, that brand with the, the Gramachi. All right, Teresa. Teresa's getting that shirt. All right, uh, let's see. How long until you lower prices, relist a slow item? Bring in, so I have something called Auto Posture. I don't know if you've heard me talk about Auto Posture or not, but I got it about six months ago. It's awesome. Um, it's in my link if you're curious. But um, what it does is delist and relist my items. And also, I can automatically send offers when people look at that item. So usually by now, I, I know what items to pick up and then. Um, auto posture will send out offers to people interested in it. If I happen to like get in my store or look around in here and find something like, man, that's been sitting a long time. I'll just go in and lower it. But by now, like I usually pick up the right items. I just try to price them right. But like I've been saying lately, a lot of my um, polo shirts this year did not sell very well. So I'm pricing all those down. So that's a really good example. I noticed all my polos as far as foot joy, Peter Millar, regular Peter Millar, um, Under Armour and um, Puma, they all have, in Oakley, they all have kind of gone downhill a little bit, a couple of $3 off, two, $3, $4 down from what I used to sell them for. So I had to reprice all of those. 
Next item, carbon to cobalt. I found one of those today too. Thanks, good to know. You're welcome. I bet I like that. Um, I just moved, dumped my death pile, starting over. Dang, Donna, dig deals. You just moved, um, starting over. That's good. Actually, a guy messaged me and he uh, was curious if I wanted to buy all of his stuff. He lives in Florida though, um, because he wants to start over. He wants he's gonna move and start over. So you sell yourself short. You're the best ever seen. No, I'm not. My wife's my if my wife said that, I believe, but I appreciate it. I just try to be me and hopefully teach. That's it. So carbon and cobalt, good brand. I appreciate it. Um, 2388. That was my approach to teaching too. Like just do your best and I don't care. Like everything else follows. So and you guys know, like I got good things from my teaching. I'm not picking up polos with ribbed collars anymore, unless a standout. All right, so Riser says she's not picking up polos with ribbed collars. Are you talking about like the polo jackets, Riser? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. So Carbon to Cobalt, good brand to pick up. Um, 2388. Again, that's the brand that never stops selling. I've sold that brand since the beginning of time. This next item's funny. Thank you for all you've been learning a lot. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I mean, why not? I didn't want to get on social media when I was a teacher, so why not do it now? Uh, let's see. Your wife is the best I've ever seen because she puts up with you. Have you seen her, though? Have you seen her, Arizona? I don't know. You can't say she's the best you've ever seen. She is cool, though. She's good. Um, this right here. Kayla, the, other, the better half of K-Way, did a pop-up show, and I said, I'm going to tip 10 or $20 um, if K-Way doesn't speak for like two minutes. And then Bearded came in and doubled it, and so he couldn't speak. But long story short, I said, I bet you won't throw another item on that, and he threw this up there. So I bought this off of his whatnot show for, I think, $20 and sold it for $34.88. So literally bought this from K-Way. I'd like to say from Kayla, from K-Way, um, for $25 and sold of it, sold it for $23.88 or uh, $34.88. So, yes. So, yes. I've seen her. Yeah, I've seen her too. She's cute. Um, that's going out in a Tyvex envelope. Uh, I missed it. Did you miss? Uh, oh, it was like it was like a week. It, that That sold quick. That that sold quick. It was probably a week and a week ago. I don't know if you guys were in there or not. Um, do I auction every single garment? No. So I only do like less than a percent of my items I auction. So right now I currently have no auctions. I would say over the last three to four weeks, I only had one auction. It was a pair of Lee Pipe jeans that were kid skater jeans. I didn't find anything like them, so I just threw them up on auction and it sold for 50, 53 or fifty-four dollars, something like that. So, behave, boys. Behave. Uh, let me see. All right. So, that's going out the door. Um, real quick. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go over. Because that's it, guys. We already did all of our items. So, if you guys are over there on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, go over to K-Way. Go over to K-Way and send them some surfboards, okay? I'll do the same. So appreciate you guys. I'll see you later. Promoting on eBay, 4%. I like 4% promoting. So go over to K-Way. He's live. Send them some surfboards and show them who's boss. See you guys later. Bye, everybody.